All right, welcome back to the Timberborn with the Bad Water update in Experimental. Is it fun? Is the question I asked in the last episode. And I went from it doesn't look like fun to maybe. Let's see. Anyway, I mentioned in the comments that uh, the levy trick still works. So I want to give that a try somewhere. I also want to try putting levees down here. Now, we've only got a flow through of two here. But I want to try to put, like, levees here to see when we have bad water if that blocks the uh, the, the bad stuff. And uh, I can just, we have plenty of wood. I can just go ahead and uh, put a string of levees right here. And we'll just see if it blocks it from, uh, from messing up the land. And then I don't know what I'm going to do here. I think probably just delete this stuff. Because I do want the water to continue to flow down here during a bad tide. So anyway, let me work on some stuff. I do have to unlock the fluid dump. It's not just a water dump anymore, it's a fluid dump. It can dump both good water and bad water. Uh, so I can try this out. It does not work. Now, it might work if I dump the water down here. It might work on this side. But it doesn't work when levees are involved, because levees now completely block it. So the woodcutters are able to take out these old oak stumps. I see them from time to time taking them out. They're also working on the new trees. So that does work. See, they're taking out a dead pine there. So that's working. So when you do this, where ground is bordering part of the water, this works exactly as expected. It greened up down here, and it greened up all this area. I'm going to build another one right here. This should be high priority, yeah. And so, okay, so this is how you do it. Wow, another bad tide already. So back-to-back -back bad tides, right? I think. So this will be interesting. I'll get to test this out right away. All right, I built uh, three more levees. Bad tide started. So let's see. As the bad stuff comes down, what is it going to kill? Yeah, it creeps. Uh, it's... I guess just this little spot is enough to make it go all the way in. I don't see where this is blocking them at all. I don't see where these levees are blocking the bad stuff at all. Maybe it didn't go as far. I got rid of the I got rid of the water squirter, <laughs> whatever this what's this called, <laughs> irrigation tower, water squirter, same thing. Yeah, it didn't. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this is enough to spread it. It does look there is a peak there. See that? So maybe yes. The way that the spread goes, maybe this is blocking it. Two beavers are unwell. So they're on what? This beaver spent too much time in contaminated, contaminated bad water. It's fine for now, but we'll get sick in a few days. All right. Why is that? Uh, it's because I'm having you cross. All right, let me pause that. I don't want you to go back to here. And really, I should build. I should have built a bridge here rather than you guys getting the water. See, you're going through the water. Yeah, you're getting contaminated. You're swimming in the water. That's what you're doing. They're idiots. Okay, do I have something... Oh, no. There, it's gone. They're going down to get this. Good grief. Well, nobody said beavers were smart. I when I when I destroyed these gates, it left rubble there, and that's what they were getting. Now they're only getting this, and soon they'll be there. Three beavers are unwell. Okay, you're going to get sick. Well, I guess uh, I guess we're going to have to deal with that. Bad tides ended. Get this. Get the fresh water down here, man. Here it comes. And we lost more trees. This used to say how much wood. I think since they're seedlings, these are these are worthless. All right, so we did lose some. Uh, the oaks are greening up again. Yeah, they're fine. So I think it's time for a new food. Two beavers are contaminated. One beaver is unwell. Contaminated by bad water. Contamination minus ten. So you're gonna die, dude. Movement speed minus seventy refuses to work. Do you de... <laughs> He's a zombie. All right. I don't... I don't... If you're going to do zombie beavers, there's enough zombie games out there, don't you think? So you're... You're contaminated. All right. So what do you look like? You're fine. You got red dots on you. All right. I don't know how to decontaminate you, dude. Not this early in the game, man. I guess it'll just go away. There's decontamination pods... But, um, they require 100 power and 20-something. I don't know what that 20-something is, but they also require metal blocks. 
There's no way I have it this early. I have all the science paused, by the way. Although, I'm just going to continue to build up science because we have the beavers. Okay. All right. Just a drought. Hooray. Two beavers are still contaminated. The third one didn't get contaminated, but these two are contaminated. And uh, I have no idea. Yeah, you're minus 10, and I have no idea how to decontaminate you. And uh, I, I don't see a kill button here. Uh, perhaps, perhaps we need the kill button? I'm, I'm not sure what to do with you. Except you're useless to me and you're taking up space so I built more homes. And, uh, by the way, we're gonna store grilled potatoes here. Cause look, I got grills and I got potatoes growing and the potatoes are getting ripe. So we're gonna have our secondary food soon. I have these paws because they don't need to fill up with water very often. They, uh, you know, once it gets dry, I'm gonna need to fill it up with water. But I don't need to fill them up all the time. So you can pause those during a drought and we have three in there now so I'm going to unpause this pump so that we can pump water and uh, fill more of these up. Look at the water. 1.3k in the water. Here's another thing I tried. I put levees down here and this land was contaminated. This does block the contamination. It doesn't block it up here of course but it does block it down here. It stops. So this is now uncontaminated. I don't know if there's any way to block this contamination if I just put a levee on top. Why don't we try that? Okay, so we know this is getting contaminated. Let me try to put some levees up here just for the heck of it. Right? Just on top. And see if that blocks these tiles here. These decontamination pods, like I said, are 400 science. I have the 400 science, but I don't have metal blocks. I don't have metal blocks, and where is the metal? It's way over here. Here's the mine over here. Here's the metal over here. I'm not going to get to the metal anytime soon. Mm-hmm. That's just a feature of this map, but still. If these guys are going to stay contaminated forever, that doesn't sound like a good time, does it? Okay, look, this did work. Look at this. No contaminated, this decontaminated this, even though it's on top. So, what that means is that all I have to do is build levees on top. I'm sure in the water works too, but all I have to do is build levees on top to block the contamination, right? So I'm going to try that. Beavers have been de decontaminated or they died. Well, we have another bad tide approaching. And uh, I'm, I'm doing some massive building here. We got 1.9k water. You just need to get some water. But uh, I'm trying to raise up this level, and then look at all the... Okay? You see what I'm going to try to do? It's not going to work this time, but it's going to work next bad tide. Get this water up. Get the water to flow back into here. This is now walled off. And uh, unfortunately, this is going to throw some uh, nasty water into here. Which is unfortunate. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going... I'm going to have to pause this. Yeah, I'm going to pause these down here. So that you can't do that. And uh, as long as that's still flowing. As a matter of fact, unfortunately, I have to delete these and waste some wood. Yeah. There, just to make sure that the water doesn't over... Because I don't want to back up the bad water back into here. That's, that's the issue. But once I get this raised up, then I can back fresh water back into here. And as long as I close these gates off, then we're all good. If I forget to close the gates off... Well, then we have bad water trapped here, and then how do I release it? I need to release it down into here, so I should have built some gates here. These should be gates. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's still work to be done. Anyway, I got to get through another bad water cycle. I'm also building these up. See how I built these up? So now there's a constant wall, either at the lowest level or above. I want to see if I can keep these carrots alive. Just out of curiosity, can I completely block... The bad water from going on this side. Check it out, it worked. It worked. Let's slow it down. So, this combination of levees, I don't know if I like the way this works, but for some reason... Yeah, I could have... Ooh, look how high this is getting. Look how high the water is getting. Why is it getting so high? Yeah, suddenly it's flowing really high. Alright, let's release. Release the bad water. Yeah, so we don't flood. So we don't overtop that. Good. Let it out. Okay. Anyway, now it's going to creep in from this side. But you know what? I could put levees here and block it. So levees 
at this level, at the combination of level, block it. But then it comes in from over here. But I could put all these things on levees. Oh, I'm pumping. Now, accordingly, productivity 55% pumps it, pumps and filters water for beavers to drink. Bad water contamination slows down its pumping speed, but yet it can still pump. So you just have to make sure that the beavers aren't dumb enough to jump in the bad water, which hopefully they aren't. I probably should just block this road off altogether so they're not tempted to jump in. But anyway, if, uh, if I put levees here so in other words if I kill this road and I put in levees here I should be able to block most of this badness you can see this is all dying but uh, we can block most of the badness why is bad water creeping in here oh I think look see how you can see the contaminated water underneath the dam here I think that's the problem I have to replace these dam pieces all together this one can probably stay but I've got to get rid of these damn pieces. These damn pieces, I tell ya. Alright, there we go. So now with these replaced with the uh, levees, you can see that the the bad wa the bad stuff is uh, going away. Whatever you want to call it. Bad mojo is going away. Okay, so it was a damn issue. Another one of those damn issues. Alright, so the, uh, the bad tide's ending, but check it out. I was able to block it all. So now... The question is, will the gates put up here be able to block it as well? Uh, because I want to put gates here, but uh, the reason I raised that up is because I only have unlocked the one size gates. I could have unlocked the two size gates, but uh, yeah, I didn't. Uh, so let's put in some gates. Let's see. Why don't we put in three middle gates and then we'll put in levees on the outside. Yeah, so we're flooded. And I didn't change anything. I, I pretty much torn up everything, except it could be we're just not letting enough water out here. It's the only thing I changed. Working through an eight-day drought, I almost have everything built that I want to get built for a bad tide. But not quite. Alright, the dam system's up and running. We got through an eight-day drought. I put up some levees here to try to block as much of the bad stuff as possible, but I couldn't make a complete circuit because I built everything on the shore. But uh, we'll, we'll see how it works out next bad tide. But anyway, now I want to let these down and fill this area up with some water. And it should fill up and stop. And that was quick. Speed 3 helps a lot. And then, uh, yeah block it off you know do I want one gate here to be able to let all the water out in fact because I have 1.7 K in science do I want to go ahead and unlock the double floodgate for 250 okay and then have one of these be a floodgate that will let all the bad water you see if the bad water flow is really really strong I need one, two, three, four, five, so I find out. I need a full, at least four, I don't know why I counted to five, at least four slots to be able to drain the water correctly. So this is one, let's see, one, two, three, four, and then maybe two gates. Yeah, I'm going to do two gates. All right, there we go, two gates. And then this is the overflow, perfect. So I'm now at the point where I've read some comments because the first video has been released and I didn't even see this. But uh, as somebody pointed out, it took a lot of work. But they came up here and put gates across here because you can close these gates with the bad water and you can redirect it here. This is enough room. This is three across. All the way down to here. And even if you can't redirect all of it, let's say it overflows. I think, you know, you'll, it, it'll be slow enough that I can redirect it over here. How about that? How about that? But, uh, and that doesn't hurt my little arrangement here. Yeah, how about that? Well, it does. It does, because I could keep this water all fresh if I <laughs> built another arrangement. Hey, it's wood. It's a replenishable resource. What am I worried about? And then, um... Uh, as I found out this episode as well, you can leave these pumps on. They're fine. As a matter of fact, there's, there's, 
not that much tedium with this whole thing. They, they will cut down the dead trees and this water won't pump bad water and this water won't get spoiled and uh, everything is all hunky-dory. I, as I've just said before, I, I put up some rando, that's what I'm going to call it. It's rando barriers, okay? Uh, I didn't want to levy the whole thing, although I could and I could move everything up. But I didn't want to levy the whole thing to see, you know, am I going to get just a bubble of badness here? Because if I just get a bubble of badness here, I can just move the crops. Everything's fine. Who cares if this land gets spoiled? Because you could just build stuff on top of this land. It's going to creep through here, too, because, you know, I'd, I have this, you know, I could put these things up on stilts, but I'm too lazy. Measures water depth and flow and bad water. Ah, I should unlock this. What is this, 150? 150? I want to unlock this because I want to see the contamination. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to see uh, how contaminated stuff is. And so I'm going to let the bad water flow one more time through here before I build anything. So let's... Let's put it right here. And then see what what the, what this gauge shows. All right, I'm I'm uh I got lots of science, 1.4k. We're going to unlock the double platform and I'm going to unlock the triple platform. And I still have a thousand science left. I'm building my uh, highway to the sky here. I did not realize that you could build these big water barrels over top of these warehouses. Doesn't that seem like that the weight of the water would absolutely crush this little warehouse. I also want to move these gates over for no other reason except the fact I don't like this dead area here. And I think if I move these gates over, I can probably have them open if I need to without hurting this flow. Maybe. So here we go. This little uh, stream gauge is up. Depth 0.7, uh, greatest depth 0.71. Uh, current is uh, zero. Hmm. Okay, so it's not measuring the current out here. That's interesting, isn't it? But the contamination is 0%, so it does measure contamination. That's pretty cool. The flow is really zero there? The flow is, in fact, zero. I might argue with that. But you can see it's it's kind of in a dead zone there. But if I block this out, there's... Yeah, it, uh, it would overflow because there's... Uh, well, actually, no. Remember, I had levees down here and it didn't overflow it was overflowing because i had this escape route blocked and uh, i had a dam here but i had this blocked off which only opened three here and that made the whole thing overflow where did i not select a good oh my goodness water please thank you very much so i'm building a new little neighborhood over here we got some more pumps i'm building three more houses and I'm also building a little, uh, little, a small pile here for planks so he can just stick his planks out here and also an obtain pile of logs just so we can keep the stock with logs so he doesn't have to work, walk very far. That increases the efficiency of this. Right now the productivity is 49 because he's got to walk all over the place to both deliver the planks and to pick up new logs. And in my opinion, they still haven't fixed the death wave because I have built houses at scattered times throughout the building of this village. And we just had a death wave where we have now no beavers available. And I've got both potatoes and carrots, which is pretty typical early in the game. And I've got the overflow was this a hauling post, which was almost full at one time. I still don't like the death wave. All right, we do have a bad tide approaching. And I'm not going to be able to stop the water, and I'm not going to try to stop the water. Uh, you guys are up all the way, right? Yep. And I'm not going to stop the pumps, and we're just going to see how much I was able to stem, so to speak, the bad tide. I've got this water full. I just sloshed it in. Let me slosh it in again. All right, bad tide started. Here it comes. Let's slow it down a little bit. So you can see the pumps slow down. And we're not getting any infection here. We should get infection. I don't know if that's the right word, but here. And we do get a little here, but not much. It looks like this is going to be the peak of it. So this kind of blocked it. And we're good to go here. Right? There's no bad water here. This isn't contaminated. You know what I could do? Is I could build one of those, uh, let's see, let's let's put a stream gauge in. Uh, just to make sure. 
We'll put a stream gauge out in here. You can get down there and reach it. And then we'll set you as high priority to build, please. But this shouldn't be contaminated. And that just means, because remember the, uh, the bad tide does not offer any water, any irrigation. But because I have these two little holes here, and uh, they're manned by beavers that are bored because they don't have anything to do at the moment. This stays irrigated. And uh, how far did the bad get? It looks to me like... Yeah, it's already killed the trees. And this isn't infected, so this kind of worked, right? I don't have a complete system of levees here. But um, it kind of squeezes through. The bad stuff squeezes through, but only a certain amount. So this worked. This is a six-day bad tide. This is the longest bad tide I've had to tolerate. But we have 2,100 water, and I don't have to use my... This is extremely costly. I don't have to use this to irrigate because I've got this, uh, this backwater. When the bad water tides over, I'll watch the contamination level and watch these guys start to pump as this decontaminates. I do like the fact that we have power through this, though. So even though bad water seems bad, and I think it's contrived, I'm giving an opinion again, I think it's a contrived mechanic, there are some significant advantages because I get full power out of here. I'm not really making use of it, but I definitely get full power out of this. And uh, my beeves can't get into this bad water right now. I blocked off their, uh, their route. So you can see from the tooltip, but currently we have no water production, so it's zero. Even though some of these things say... Okay, no, that says productivity 0%. So this is the key number down here. Percentage of time spent on production, 0%. Okay. So when this bad water ends, as it comes down, I'm going to watch this and see if this slowly goes up. I'm going to build the Farmer's Monument, everybody. I'm going to unlock it for a thousand science. Why? Because I want to improve the beaver's health to hopefully help with this. Uh, these die-offs and I can put you up here if I put another stand all right that's what I'm gonna be doing all right the bad water is over we uh, our bad tide is over we only used 300 water I mean we still have 1.7 K left and uh, as the uh, as the blue comes down here here it comes and uh, we've already gotten up here to build check it out so I'm almost ready to put the gates in up here nice but I want to see this first, so what we'll do is we'll monitor this contamination and then we'll see when these pumps over here start. So here comes this water. Contamination is still 100% here. 99%. Alright. Your productivity is now 3. Yeah. Yep. And your productivity should start to go up. Maybe. You are pumping water. Yeah, it's hard to tell, but you can see it's pumping water now. You're starting to pump water, and this contamination is 67%, but now you're actually starting to pump water. This is the one furthest down the line, right? Yes. So, yeah, I, I, I can't trust this number. You can just see here that as long as this is moving, they're pumping. So there you go. And then if I hover up here, we are at a production rate of 14, and it should be rising. I don't think tooltips will update. No. 19. So it's rising. Okay, so there you go. And then we got all kind of mess here, but uh, I need to drain this again. So let's, uh, let's just destroy this, and let's destroy this. And then let's, uh, let's bump these down to get rid of this little pool of uh, bad water here. Suck it out. There we go. It still does the job. And there. Close it back up. And then what's our contamination rate? 1%. Uh -oh. So we're still kind of sort of contaminated. wonder where it is. Is it just trapped in here somewhere? Probably because it's not moving. There we go. 0%. Okay. We are uncontaminated. I'm trying to build another water wheel. What's going on here? Uh, I probably have other things higher priority than this. Anyway, I think I can build one more wheel and get the and get the maximum amount of flow through here. 
So I don't want to open up this yet, because look at all the contaminated water that's kind of trapped back here. It's going to take a while to wash out. Unfortunate. What I could do, though, is lower this down to make that slosh out. I don't know if that was my plan or not. But this plan appears to work. Even if uh, unintended. There we go. Come on, get rid of it. Slosh it out. Slosh it out. There you go. I seem to clear it up. All right, and then let's lift it back up. I need a contamination gauge over here. But the land's not contaminated, so it's not contaminated enough to be an issue. So three wheels are up. We got uh, 220, 100, and also 100. I think that's, you know, the uh, reducing returns on if you add more wheels, but this still seems to work. I think the overall system power, these two aren't connected. So this overall network supply is about 400. Let's say 350 to 400, and then this sucker is about 100 or so. I'm doing wheat. Check it out. Never done wheat this early in the game, but uh, yeah, why not bread? We've got the power for it. I'm not using it for anything else. It doesn't require metal either, which is on the other side of this map. So I'm going to need to unlock under food. We're going to have to turn wheat into wheat flour. That's a grist mill for 180. And then I only have 97 left, but when I get back to 160, we'll unlock the bakery. The bake, the grist mill takes 60 horsepower. The bakery does not take any power. Check out the water. 2.8K, and I've got another water barrel going in here. We should be able to exceed 3,000. And then, because this is just a drought, I'm leaving all the gates open. Uh, except these are of course closed. This is the overflow gate. These are always closed unless I, something happens. This is a dam. These I'm leaving open, which means this area and this area is connected. Although, yeah, because, hold on. Yes, because this is shallow. Yeah, so this area is connected. So that gives me some extra water storage. So now the water storage truly wraps all the way around. Plus I have all this storage. Plenty of water to last the longest drought. And when we get a bad tide, these gates are now in. Should I test them? Got a few days. Let's test them. Look, if I close them off, the water will go the other way. See? How about that? But I want to test this in the bad tide. But I'm going to go ahead. I'll let this uh, little pool fill up. And then when night hits, I'll let it uh, do one more gulp down to the other side. But yeah, check it out. No problem with the flow. And then you come down here, and then you flow into here. And you'll actually backflow. We're just, yeah, building lacks power. You'll backflow. Check that out. All right, good. Let's put you back down. It's interesting how it took so much time to flow over there and it but it's straight ahead here it gets really quickly down in here and gives some more power they're spinning backwards seven day drought no problem and now that we're in the drought the uh, wheat should be ripening soon this is all still green 78 percent done Wheat takes a while but now i'm going to go ahead and unlock the bakery for 160 we have 265. And this bakery does not take power. And it's kind of awkward. Maybe I put in two bakeries. I was wrong. We're just about ready to pump this dry. Turn off the pumps. Shoot. Because I forgot about the little ledge there. It's not a big deal, but uh, yeah. There's a waterfall here. I forgot. So these areas are connected, which is fine. But uh, not to this. Unfortunate. Yeah. So I've got to turn off all these pumps because we just about depth 0 0.04. This is going to be dry before the drought ends. But that's okay because we already know that uh, our little water dumps here can keep most of this area alive. So we'll be fine. As a matter of fact, we'll go ahead and let it dry out. Why not? The little windmill is only 120. And I think the power on the little windmill stinks now. 150 horsepower. I mean, why not? Windmill's up just in time. We don't nearly have enough power. But the thing is, this side of the power, because I never connected, 
is only attached to this. So this productivity is pretty low. I need to bring over stuff. We're not storing bread anywhere, so you're just about ready to fill up with bread. Wow, just like that, we had 11. Happier than ever, just with a little bit of bread. 12. That's huge. <laughs> Gosh, I, sh I should do bread more often and faster. We're going to store a lot of bread up here. That's why I love these little these little warehouses. Small warehouses. Bread everywhere. Hey, Farmer Beaver was built. Check them out. Wow. Wow. This is providing some awe. And if we look at the little beeves, let's look at this guy. He's at 12. Almost everybody's at 12. And he's at 12 because plus three for the farmer's monument. And we have some other ways like shrubs. I haven't planted shrubs yet. These are all plus ones. Lanterns, roofs. Yeah. And uh, all the little beeves are happy. And I'm sure somebody cares somewhere. Hedge, 150. Don't tell anybody I unlocked the hedge. Ah, you can put the hedge up on the up on the roofs. And look at that, it turns the corner. Excellent, hedging. We hit 13. 13, thanks to the hedge. <laughs> All right, we're just about ready to go into another bad tide. It's one day away. I want to show you everything I did before we start because I built a lot of stuff and then I changed my mind. So I have these, uh, this here. These, these, uh, yeah floodgates and I can completely stop this and back the water all the way up because it's all at the same level but I'm not going to use them well because I actually want to keep power during the bad tide I, I think it's okay I think I'm I'm plenty blocked off enough that I don't lose any trees I have this back here I have some emergency pumps in here that I thought that I paused I'm going to go ahead and pause these guys because I have one of these things here to to uh, fill this up with water if I need it. There we, there we go. I don't know, it's just a little extra little reservoir. Reservoir. And then I have this, and these gates are open. And because we're just about ready to hit the bad tide... Oh, it's yellow. Interesting. It's warning me that things are coming. But uh, I have... Uh, these aren't connected. I had to replace this with a block because otherwise this whole chain was connected. These are going to go up to closed to protect this reservoir. Okay. And then what else? Right now everything goes this way. And here's the thing. These gates are all sitting at one because at one we have a split flow and then I can keep water in here. That's why I put these dams here. The problem is if I raise these guys up, which I spent forever building, and put all the bad water this way, it's going to kill my oaks. Because I didn't really think about that. And I could wall these oaks off, you know. I could, I could replace these oaks with, with a, a barrier. But then they're not going to stay irrigated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open this flow up all the way. And that will uh, stop the flow down here. This will retain water for a little bit and if the water gets too low I got a little water dump to put water in here to keep the oaks alive. You know, that's the way it goes. That This is enough to uh, water the oaks while this stuff's going through and because this is too down it doesn't corrupt this this land which is kinda cool. Have I explained that well enough? Maybe, sort of. And then, yeah, and then as the water pours here, I think it's time to just drop this. This is what I normally do. So I raise this up. Now I'm going to drop this all the way so that we lower the water level. So as the bad, the bad jazz goes through, we're not really trying to keep this water level up. There we go. All right, otherwise the bad stuff gets backed up into here and it's kind of a pain. All right. It's too bad that's not all automated. I wish I could, you know, create a automation circuit that I would place up here that would say, like, assign all these to number one. Click. And everything that I just did would happen. Wouldn't that be cool? That would really be getting into an automation game <laughs> rather than a builder. But dang it, I want it. Uh, what else? We can hold 3.3K, 3 3,300 water. And uh, actually, we can hold more than that. This dude isn't full yet because... We had another death wave. So I've added houses everywhere. I've added houses over here, houses over here, houses here, 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 double decker here, one around the corner here. And I'm still having these death waves. And now we just had a bunch of uh, grown-ups, grow-ups. 
And so this is full, but my builder, which is at the same priority, I built a little uh, builder's hut here, is empty. And of course the hauling post is empty and this really hurts us. And I, the death waves, I just don't get. It's like, I build more houses. We have more beavers. I didn't create that many jobs. I created a few jobs, but not that many, maybe five, because I added another farm. No, I just moved a wheat farm. Yeah, I didn't add that many jobs, yet the death waves just whoosh. And uh, I, you know, rant, 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 rant. I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm all set up now. Oh, I also uh, built a little gate here so that I can hold some water back and uh, help irrigate here. And uh, this looks like carpet. It looks like it's been ripped up in spots. Right, so I can hold some water back here. I can dump it if necessary and then open these floodgates and completely dump it if for some reason we get some contaminated water stuck in here. All right, bad tide is starting. We'll keep it at speed too so this stuff can get down here pretty fast. It's going to be only five days. I've survived the eight-day bad tide another beaver was contaminated i had two contaminated because i built some steps and of course they immediately jumped in the water and swam around because that's what they do okay now here comes the bad tide and we still have this little issue here it's unfortunate that i can't keep this water can't keep the water wet yeah that's what i was going to say can't keep the water wet oh and holy cow! Oh, let me build a path. Hold on, sorry, path. Just so these trees don't grow. I uh, had a real shortage of trees and didn't really know it. Oh, we do have some contamination right here, and they died. Okay, well let me uh, let me get rid of the tree planting zones here so that we don't have this happen again. So let's remember that it's Valisath. Valisath, who's our zombie beaver. And uh, I'm not a big fan, but uh, I don't know whether they get uncontaminated or whether they die. So I actually want to follow him around. <laughs> I guess I, I don't have to follow him around, but I can keep his, his uh, page open here. Because uh, I think once they're contaminated, they're doomed until I have a decontamination pod. Which means that if we actually had lava instead of bad water, perhaps I could convince the beavers to go swimming in the lava. About the only thing I added during the, uh, I don't know, four hours? It's been a long, long time, but I added another water dump way over here so that I could expand the potatoes. And I think that's about it. I expanded the potatoes around and I have other plants, but I haven't implemented those plans yet. The amount of wheat we have is epic. Check it out. 2,000 bread, 623 carrots, uh, 1,600 grilled potatoes. A lot of wheat, a lot of wheat flour, not that many raw potatoes. And then I did unlock the big warehouse because the big warehouse is storing 1,200 bread. Lots of carrots now, but there's not that many carrots. Grilled potatoes, big warehouses. And we still, we did, we're down to 319 science and I turned off all of the science because, uh, because of the death wave. But now, let's see, are we... Yep, we're back. We have somebody in the hauling post again. So let me, uh, let me encourage the scientists to start sciencing again. So I did want to note that as far as the uh, wood goes, I ran out and I'm slowly been, I, more oaks over here, a lot more oaks, more oaks over here. I mean, we just flat ran out of wood and then it was cycles cycles and cycles before I could get wood. I went all the way up here and cut down all these oaks for wood. I know we're using up wood in like the grills to uh, to create the bread, for instance. It takes, uh, so every 50 bread takes one log. It doesn't seem like a lot, but man, did we run out. And uh, yeah, holy cow. But uh, these trees are very close to uh, being done. Finally, and then it's going to be one of those things where once these are done, uh, we're already starting to see the logs pile up, but uh, we got logs on the roofs. This probably makes a lot of racket for these houses, but uh, they don't seem to mind. Yeah, and you can put logs on top of stuff now. So uh, I put more campfires in and uh, we're storing logs on rooftop. Check out these lanterns. These are new. I think they go off as the sun comes up. Maybe they stay on all the time. Nope, they went off. See? 
The beavers are experiencing shrubs, roofs, hedges. We're only 14 because the one dude is uh, giving us a minus one contamination. Otherwise, we'd be 15. All right, the bad tides ended. I was looking at the metal over there because the I, I've got to get the metal eventually. It's a long, long road. <laughs> but uh, the bad tide's ending. So I'm waiting for this contamination to clear up. It should clear up shortly. I don't know why it's still there. Is there water trap somewhere? There it goes. Unless this is contaminated. Hmm. Anyway, I want to start pouring down there again. All right. Yeah, I'm just I just wait for the for the bad land to disappear. Come on. There it goes. And then we're going to raise this to 1. Which splits the flow. It gets it high enough to pour over here. Come on. And then it continues to pour down here. Alright. Good. And that'll refill this. And help wash this out. Although this, this helps wash this out. So then I wait patiently until this is all washed out. And I see this stuff disappear. Which it is disappearing. Are we contaminated? It says zero contamination. And the water started to flow. So that's fine. Raise these all the way up. Make sure we're still at zero contamination. Looks like we are. Lower these guys down. There we go. You're still at zero. Yep, and you should stay at zero. Okay. And then over here, Tapper Shack. Uh, we now have 574 science, so I should have enough to unlock the Tapper Shack. The Tapper Shack makes, helps make the sparkly planks. The sparkly planks... Again, does not need metal. So I'm trying to do everything I can do before I need metal. So Tapper Shack for 500, please. And uh, you're going to go right here. I've already cleared the cut down designation for these pines here. So as they get bigger, I should probably... Let's see, you can go over here. I have an oak here, but um, I should eliminate all the pines. And then I'll have to make a, a sparkly plank workshop over here somewhere. The city goes on, the the uh, the bad water is just uh, nothing to me right now, okay? And then eventually I'm going to start sucking the bad water out of here to refine it, I guess. Which makes this map kind of easy. And the bad water flow never stops, which again, kind of takes the challenge of it. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing my opinion thing again. But besides the bad tide coming through which is more interesting than I thought it would be, the bad water sources, the fact that they keep going regardless, I still don't like. I think the bad water, water sources should be a pollution source that occasionally pollutes or can pollute fresh water, but, uh, but not a constant water flow. Because if this is a constant water flow, I can give myself power 24-7 and uh, never have to worry about not having power again, which... Just doesn't seem like a challenge. But as the sun rises over the little village of... I don't even remember what I named it. Uh, I wasn't expecting this to be a series. I think I'm going to go a little further. Just because I'd like to get to uh, the bots and some of the... And I would like to start refining the bad water. But I'm going to give them... I don't know, maybe a couple of days. To see if they uh, update experimental again. But that is going to be it for this time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.